welcome to your St. John Narana midweek message for this week. We continue with our series on the confirmation materials and this section on the Ten Commandments, or as it is referred to in the Bible, the Ten Words, if you want to translate it a little more directly from the Hebrew, the Ten Words, Ten Good Words to Us. Now there has classically been a division of these into the first four and the last six, which makes also a connection to Jesus' answer when he was asked, what is the greatest commandment? And Jesus' answer was, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. So you got a twofer, love God, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. So that lines up with the classical division. And we will begin with the first great commandment, or the first half of the great commandment. Love God. The first four words are monotheism. The Lord is one. There is one God to be worshipped. This is the one who brought them out of Egypt. And instead of worshipping idols, worshipping things made by people, they are to worship the one who frees them. No idols at all. That's the second word. Worship the Lord your God. Do not worship things. Hmm. Is there something in that for a culture that is tied up totally in materialism, that loves things and uses people? Hmm. There's a commandment that says, don't love things. Love God, not things made by people. Maybe we can learn something from that about how we are to live. The third word is to not take God's name in vain. Don't take God's name lightly. And in a culture where names were incredibly important, to misuse someone's name in ancient Israel was a very serious matter. So to misuse or abuse the name of God, not to be taken lightly. That's the third word. And the fourth word in this is Sabbath. Take your holiday. Take time to worship and rest. And it is told that this is part of the order of creation, that God created the whole world in six steps, six days, six time periods, and on the Sabbath, on the seventh one, God rested. Therefore, if God rests, we should rest also. And not only we, but everyone who works around and for us are to be given their rest. Very important for people who had been enslaved and never given an opportunity to rest. Work, 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 work. Hmm, is there something in that, in a culture of work, work, work for us? The Protestant work ethic can be overblown to where we no longer take the Sabbath, our Sabbath rests. So there's the first four words, which is the first great commandment, love God. But it also pushes us towards the second, because Sabbath has two sides to it. There is the worship and the together, the being together in rest, equally important. We are to take time to devote to rest, to recreation, and to worship. So with that, the first word, the first great commandment, and the first 
four words of the ten words are complete. Blessings to you, and may we all find our Sabbath rest in God.